how much of an issue is piracy of music and piracy of content? And um, with something like Jamie's Project help alleviate it? So what are your thoughts on that? Because it definitely, I'm just not kind of trying to get a feel as to whether it's still a major issue. Because I remember that definitely early on in the age of the internet, we heard all kinds of talks about it. And of course it came up even in congressional hearings. Well, I'll let Jamie answer. Wonderful. Well, you know, there's uh, still very much alive today, this music piracy. There has been efforts made online to stop the ripping. And, um, you know, as you might have heard in some of the hearings and some of the stuff that's going on recently, there's methods and, and tactics that could be used and have been there for years and they're not. They're not using them. Um, so I think some legislation might be in order that requires them to, to do some of these things. Um, my product doesn't seek to kill digital markets, okay? People enjoy having these things at their fingertips, and I'm not here to take that away. What I'm here to do is to give artists a choice and to create leverage for them in these digital markets. If Ted Nugent, who I love dearly, were to walk, you know, walk in and, and demand more money in digital markets for his new album coming out, I'm not sure how much leverage he'd have even with my product. But if Bruno Mars walks in the door and says, I'm not going to give you all even one song if you don't give me the price I want, right? Now he's got something. Right now, artists got nothing. They got a CD that anybody can rip. There's no protection at all. I myself am seeking legislation, and I've already reached out to the Trump administration, my local state representatives. Um, not to pass legislation that, that requires you buy my product, Legislation that says, hey, you know, you have to use whatever technology is available out there to, to protect your client. And uh, you don't have to use this technology, but uh, you have to have something at least as equally effective. So for anybody to contract an artist and take on the responsibility of protecting their music, representing their music and their livelihood, um, to me, owes it to that artist to protect his music in any way necessary. Uh, otherwise, you know. It's a crime. Um, you know, I just urge anybody who's, you know, given up and feel hopeless about their music, they need to, to get on board with this. And it's a grassroots movement. The only people that want it are really, truly the artists themselves. 